Thank you, Mr. President. Ladies and gentlemen, I had a very constructive discussion with President Ivanov today. I met him uh, for the second time. Now, the my, for the first time in my capacity as President of the European Council. And during our meeting, I gave the President a brief overview of the internal developments of the European Union in the last months, and we discussed especially the European perspectives of his country and of the region as a whole. I recall the President my personal commitment to the stability, security, and the European perspective of the Western Balkans. This is why in the first few months I met most of the leaders of the countries in the region. I pay a visit already to four capitals and I intend to visit the others before the end of the year. I firmly believe the European Union's international weight and credibility begins in its immediate neighborhood and I will also invite the European Council to reflect on these issues in the near future. Your country, Mr. President, is a candidate country for accession to the European Union. President Ivanov and myself agree that joining the European Union is essential for his country's future. Membership of the world's largest single market will be an invaluable asset in attracting foreign investment and reducing unemployment. With the core EU values of tolerance and respect for diversity, EU membership will also be an anchor for a multi-ethnic society. I confirm to the President the European Union's steadfast support to his country's European vocation. This support goes hand in hand with our expectations to keep pace of the reform process. I encourage him to invest further efforts and energy in all necessary actions and reforms on the road towards realizing this European perspective. The President informed me about ongoing efforts to solve the name issue between Greece and his country. I confirmed to him that the European Union remains strongly supportive of efforts that will lead to a mutually acceptable agreement on the name issue as soon as possible. I also encourage the President to push ahead for a resolution on the name issue, I believe there is a major opportunity to come to a conclusion soon. Now is the time for both sides to decide. And finally, we exchange views on developments on the implementation of the ORIT framework agreement, and I welcome the President's continued engagement. As you will all remember, the European Union played a critical role at the birth of this agreement aimed at enhancing the country's stability and democracy and providing a strong basis for building a multi-ethnic, democratic, and stable society. The full implementation of the agreement, therefore, remains an important objective and expectation of the European Union. Thank you, Mr. President, for your visit, and we, see, we shall see each other again before Christmas in your lovely country. Thank you.